Hi, this is Josh Garrett. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick little thing that's a distinction uh, in how, I guess, uh, effects are mixed in effects racks or audio effects racks if uh, you have a fade zone versus just having a sharp cutoff uh, for a chain select zone. Uh, so this is a fairly advanced little thing, but it's, uh, it's kind of cool to, to understand how this works and it can be used for uh, different kinds of effects. Uh, in your mix. So anyway, I've got channel one here uh, on track one. I've got a little audio clip. So nothing too uh, exciting. Again, it's uh, just a little stab. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an audio effect rack onto uh, audio one. And into this effect rack, I'm going to insert a reverb chain. And I'm just going to select uh, show chains. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my MIDI select, and I'm going to use MIDI Learn to assign a knob to my chain select. And I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't actually want that. I just want the chain select. There we go. Okay, so now you can see chain select is uh, moving there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is on this chain, I'm going to make it 100% wet. So this is my reverb chain. I'm going to rename it to Reverb just by selecting it Command R and typing it in. Okay, so now if I select this to play, and I'll give this a long decay. Okay, now for the purposes of this demo, I also want to have a dry chain. So uh, I'm going to insert a new chain. So right click, create chain, and I'm going to rename this dry. Okay, so now I have both. So I have a dry one and a wet one. My wet reverb chain, I'm going to move all the way over to uh, the far side of the chain select. And I'm just going to put it at, uh, let's put it at 48. I'll put my dry all the way across, but I'll have it fade out after 64. So what will happen with the dry is it will be 100% volume up until 64, and then it will begin fading out until it hits uh, 127. Actually, let me pull it back to 126, so it will be completely out at 127. So there's my chain select. Okay. So now if I set it running again, there's my dry signal. And there's my wet. And now again, as I get further over here, it's 100% wet. Now this is interesting to note. As I come over here, notice the sharp cut off, but my effect's still in, just not on the new hits. So the new one's dry. Now you can see my chain select is over the 32. So the new hits are dry, but the old ones are still have a tail. Okay, so what's the big deal, right? So I sent it into um, basically treating it sort of like a, a send effect. Uh, so the effect is still in even when I'm no longer in the chain uh, select zone for that effect. Uh, but if I put in a fade on it, it behaves differently. So now it's dry. Now it's in. Now when I pull it back, it fades out. So again, if I have a hard cutoff, it stays in when I'm out of the zone. So you could probably use that in some uh, creative way in a track you're working on. Um, anyway, again, this is Josh Garrett, and uh, you can find me at jgarrett.info. Thanks for watching.